Audacity is one of the top audio editing apps available today. It's free to download and use because it's open source. In this four part series, we'll show you everything you need to know in order to edit a podcast. We're gonna start out with the basics and our next uploads will focus on the more advanced parts of podcast creation. Mono and stereo don't matter nearly as much with podcasting and spoken audio in general. Bitrate matters the most. If you're doing a highly produced podcast with sound effects and music, stereo may be the way to go with a higher bitrate. But for most people with a single mic who are interviewing someone else with a single mic, mono tracks work really well. What we're looking at right now is called a DAW, a digital audio workstation. And we have the option in this drop down menu to choose if we want to record in stereo or mono. For now, I'm going to select mono. Additionally, if you go to tracks, you can add a new track, which will be set to mono unless you choose stereo track. If you're given a stereo track and you need to make it mono, it's very simple to do. All you have to do is go to the track and click this little arrow. Then you have the option to split stereo track or split stereo to mono. While these appear to do the same thing, they're actually quite different. When you choose split stereo track, that just takes the two different sides of stereo data and pulls them apart. And it'll be designated as a left or a right track with the audio panned to that side respectively. As we can see here, it says left and then right. When you choose split stereo track to mono, you're actually summing those tracks into a single piece of audio and panning it to the center. As you can see, they both say mono. The most common edit is deleting part of the waveform. All you have to do is click and drag the selection you want to remove. Then just press backspace or delete and it's gone. Now keep in mind that when you delete a section from a single waveform, the length is adjusted accordingly. When you have a single track, that's fine. But when you have two, that means the audio is now out of sync. There are two solutions to this particular issue. The first is to simply drag your cursor into the second waveform to keep the timestamp selections lined up. When you delete the section of audio, you delete it from both tracks, maintaining their length and not overlapping any audio. For solution two, Audacity has a newer feature called sync locking. Under the tracks menu, you can select sync lock tracks. Then when you select any section of a track, you automatically select the same segment from another track. As you can see, the sync lock tracks are indicated by an underlay of clock icons. This does work differently than a simple highlight. For instance, applying an effect such as normalization will only apply to this original track, not the synced ones. But deleting a portion of the audio will delete from all sync tracks simultaneously. You can learn more about manipulating sync lock tracks in the official documentation. Sometimes you wanna add some time to breathe in your audio. To add that dead air into a track, just place your cursor where you want the empty silence to begin. Select generate from the menu and click silence. You can also select a section of audio and it will replace it with silence. And if you do that, this duration will already be pre-filled out with that amount of time. If you didn't select a section, you can simply type in the length you want to add. And now when I click okay, we have 30 seconds of silence. You probably wouldn't want to put 30 seconds, but there you go. The time shift tool can be accessed by either pressing F5 or selecting its icon in the quick menu. The icon is a double-sided arrow. This tool is useful in making sure everything is lined up with your audio tracks. A good practice is for all participants to count down, then clap to make sure things are synced up. This is how you would do it. In both of these tracks, I did two claps, which now mean using the time shift tool, I can drag the bottom track and line up these two claps. Now when I play this, both tracks will be in sync. Hey, how are you doing? I'm doing pretty good. One 
One of the last basic elements of learning how to edit a podcast is adding in the music and sound effects. It's actually pretty simple to do, though it can be a little intimidating at first. To begin, you'll want to create an extra track. If you already have the music saved as a separate file, just use File, Import. If not, you can hit Control or Command V if you want to paste it in from a different track or instance of Audacity. Now, we want to shift the beginning of our speech enough to let the intro music play uninterrupted. So I'll take my Time Shift tool and move my audio towards the end of the track. Now we're going to select our audio track, go to Effect, and go to Fade Out. As you can see, around five seconds, the audio is definitely more quiet, and so I'm going to bring my voice in around there, and it should sound pretty good. Welcome to the podcast where we talk about stuff. And there we go. The process is basically the same when we're doing our outro. I'm going to select my music, go to Effect, and this time I'll choose Fade In. Now you can time shift as you see fit, but I think right around here should work well. Thanks so much for listening to this episode. I hope you enjoyed. And with that said, I'll see you in the next one. And there you go. Now you know the basics of Audacity for podcasting. Be sure to check out our upcoming videos where we dive in on advanced editing tips and tools, including presets, compression, and so much more. If you enjoyed this video, then be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content. With that said, thanks for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.